Disclaimer, this video is made for an adult audience. What's the upside adult fans of Lego Soulbrick in the house? And I'm standing here in Soultown, my custom Lego city. This channel has been getting a lot of views in recent time. So I'm super happy about that and thankful. I hope you consider subscribing. I just realized that this bus doesn't have a driver, so I need to amend that soon. But that's not what this video is about. I'm sure you read the description. You know a funny thing about Lego set these days, or for a couple of years, they've been putting in these coffee mugs in like every car you can buy, basically, or every truck. Which I guess is some sort of inside joke at Lego. Maybe Danish people love drinking coffee just as much as we Swedes do. I actually even have my coffee mug in here. It's a Moomin mug. Well, it's empty. It's just a prop because it's a Saturday night evening and I'm drinking some sort of gin and tonic. Anyhow, where do all these Lego people buy their coffee mugs? Good question, I know. I don't think there's an official mug store from Lego. So today we're going to build one. However, I do have a bit of a problem because I'm pretty much out of space to place a larger building. Well, I do have this space here behind, but I keep my bins over there. Me and the wife are going to Ikea next weekend to buy some bookshelves because we have a lot of books and a lot of my vintage stuff is going to go up in that bookshelf. Uh, so that might mean that I will get some more space for my custom stuff in here in the leg room. We'll see. Or I'm going to try to find some sort of something at Ikea that we could have behind here as a raised level because I want the next level to be maybe up here or something and some stairs up here so we get an elevated space so it goes like a staircase basically boom 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 and we have a lot of buildings in this corner of the room these buildings are probably going to have to go over there by then because the insemination festival is coming up pretty soon and we have all the, we have the train station and we have the, the bus station and we have the road in here to the town and we have the airport and the harbor but we don't have a hotel for all the guests basically the only space i have available right now is this little corner and it's a tight one but i had so much fun building the computer store and the flower shop so I don't think this is a problem, it's more of a fun challenge. And I picked out some coffee mugs I want to use in the store. So that kind of like tells me how much room I need, or how much shelf space I need inside the store. And I have this from the Lego Classic line. Kind of like a corner shop that I think might fit. But you have the problem that this uh, plate is... Uh, going over the rail luckily we have this kind of uh, wing looking probably from some sort of a spaceship set that we could place in here like so or something and we just have a basic uh, plate and i guess i'm going to place it something like that so pretty small shop Maybe, well, maybe it has to be even one more stud over here so that sign for the dinosaur will fit. A bit of a tricky situation, but I'll, I'll, I'll wedge that in somehow. So, with that said, I'm going to build this in segments just as I've done in my previous videos because that seems to be a format that's working pretty well. Now, here's a bit of a basic shape just to test this out. And I've used uh, three plates because the door won't open if it's lower because now it gets over the rail. And also if I wanted to have that one little stud in between here, I do get a bit of a problem because this will actually at one point hit exactly here in the middle car. It will scrape the... Um, this overhang here of the canopy. So uh, we actually need to kill our darling and put this uh, next to it like so instead. So we get 
the clearance that we need so the train can pass without any problems it still hits this uh, flower every now and then it knocked the cacti lady over so she needs to be standing somewhere else where it's safe but the pot girl she's uh, she's still doing fine standing over here now i've changed the plates a little bit i've placed this one stud out and that's just to secure it a little bit more here so this won't come apart otherwise it would just be like two stacks of plates and this also has another purpose that i'm going to show you later when i place this in its spot i'm going for this angled door as i showed you before because that's just uh, i mean it's a good way to use that space it's hard to place anything else in an angle one by four by six window frame looks good for a store it creates this little space where i have uh, uh, three studs and so that's why i'm going with this one by two by six uh, arrangement with two windows looks a bit interesting i think and then let's work a little bit on the interior already i'm going to use this uh, upside down slopes for shelving place that there and the back part will be functioning as the wall and just add some more of those looks nice with those uh, profile bricks a little bit of uh, detailing and to hold this together a little better by putting in the cash register over there this is the girl who is going to be working in here I'm sure she loves selling coffee mugs and this uh, red-headed woman called Patty Skialfa is the customer so she really wants a mug because she loves drinking coffee and for the other wall an assortment of different uh, coffee mugs in a nice pattern so you can see we have those little details with the round and the uh, basic bricks oh yeah speaking of mugs we have our mug shot i'm using this uh, printed tile as a mug shot anyways so I can also make half-baked yolks and then we're going to have this uh, just as uh, a, a piece that keeps everything together and on top we're putting a gray roof now it's really starting to look like a like a little nice building a bit boring that's just white and gray but um we're going to have to work on that I want to use the white frames for the second level as well for the windows this is my favorite window piece i guess because it's you can just uh, create different uh, shapes with it and you can place two or three or four and you know different rows and it just becomes an interesting pattern and of course we have the canopy that's going in here so the window and on top of here, I think this will be like her little small apartment, the lady that's working downstairs. So she has a place where she can cry herself to sleep, just like we all do. And for that, she needs a bed. It's a simple one. So a nightstand. And now you're thinking, why did I put a jumper plate on top of the nightstand? Well, so we can place her coffee mug over there. Let's place in a, a wall here. And of course she has a little painting of a coffee mug there and a little night lamp. And on the side, just a basic wall in the same style. Yeah, I went for yellow because I just uh, figured I didn't really have a yellow building in the town and it looks a bit clean and happy bright makes me feel good add some color and some warmth to the town layout and for the back side well as you can see i am keeping it open for now 
and uh, I think it's time to to place this in its spot so we can start working on the on the back wall. Here we go. And I had to uh, modify the roof on the bus station so we could fit this in. Otherwise, it was just one big plate. Put it down. And as you can see here, we have a row that's one stud wide. And that's where we're going to place the back wall. So I created this kind of shape because I want it to look a bit more interesting, just not have it gray down here and white here. So that's where this fence piece is coming in handy. It's going to be placed like so. And you can imagine that there's some sort of little basement down here. It creates a little bit more detail on the back side, even, this, even if this is not like a, a space you're really going to see because it's behind the tourist uh, center. And from that Star Wars 4 Plus set, I have this piece that looks a bit like something from a container, a shipping container. And I place it over here just because I think it looks interesting. Put in a white brick here just to keep everything in place. Let's have a look from this side. It looks good, but as you can see, we have a gap here as well. And I know what you're probably thinking. Well, Sulbrick, he loves to put in flowers whenever possible. Not this time. This time it's going to be a stand with the best selling red coffee mugs. And let's place a, a worker here that's a potential customer that needs some coffee mugs for her colleagues at the build site. However, not all is lost. We have a backside wall with some studs on the side. Let's place it down here, press that together. And that's of course where we're going to get our flowers. So we add a bit of life to this build. Well, isn't that lovely? How you like them apples? And then we're going for pretty basic roof design. So I'll just pop that down over here and place in the ventilation. Now this is a nice space to have a chair where you could sit and relax. Well, I can sit and relax here, but uh, I think I need my coffee mug. And down here, well, this really looks kind of, it looks kind of good with the plate sticking out like that. And I have this uh, plate that's going down here to complete that. So it rests on the rails and on that plate. But I have this uh, shape here. It's kind of hard to do anything with those angles. I don't have more angle pieces, which would have been cool maybe, but I'm going to use this space for something else. Well, I'm putting in a turntable, classic looking one, and I am adding a rounded brick with a little tile on top. And that's because I am going to place this 3D sign of a coffee mug. That's based on the same kind of coffee mug design you get in the creator set 310.97 that I also have somewhere. And that rounded piece is just to, to keep this in place so it doesn't wobble around too much and fall over. I think this area needs some more loving, some more detailing. So let's uh, place this fire hydrant over there in the corner. Hmm. Time for some handheld action. Now this really looks good in this angle, I think. The coffee mug and everything. And it adds so much brightness to the town. And the bright color with the contrast of the more darker colors behind. I mean, look at that. Really makes this layout look larger than it actually is. It's just three base plates uh, deep. So you can do a lot with a small space if you just scale it down and use uh, and build and build smaller buildings. Let's have a look behind the buildings here. So nice. I mean, look at that little gift shop next to it also. That's one cool view and the city behind it. And with that said, you know the drill, stay out of the nonsense and stay awesome. And please subscribe.